So these are the type of things that you need to be aware of, fundamental, you know, understanding the, the basics, the guides, before you submit that tender, for example. So the next thing I want to discuss with you is the proposals. This includes typically the pricing, your methodology, the project plan, qualifications of the staff members, and any other requested information. So you have to look at what your pricing is going to be, and you've got to look at what the rate is that you're going to pay your staff, what your charge rates are going to be, what is your running cost, and what are your expenses to deliver that service, for example. So that would all come into your pricing, whether you're doing temporary, and I'm explaining this in a temporary way, but I'll also go into permanent placements as well. Okay, so also what is your methodology? What is your methodology, for example? So you could talk about your organization's methodology, your mission and your vision statement, for example. How many staff members do you currently have? What is the ratio? Are they nurses? Are they healthcare workers? How many do you have? And how many hours can you deliver? Monthly or weekly, for example? So if you've got nurses, you may have, say, 25 nurses and you can provide a thousand hours a week, for example. And then you could say, we've got healthcare workers or support, work, support workers. So it all depends on the contract and what the requirements are, okay? Then you've got to then talk about the qualifications 